Hello Internet, I'm Hamsterbomb, and you guys are joining me for another episode of Poka Walker Challenge. And today we want to get a new team member, so we are going into a brand new route in the Poka Walker, the Yellow Forest. Hoping we can get a flying, surfing, or even volt tackle Pikachu. Alrighty, hello everybody, and welcome to our first venture into the Yellow Forest. Since we were lucky enough to finish up the winner's path, we can now move on to what I would probably say is the next most interesting thing that we can do in the Poka Walker to try and get a really cool team member, and that is to try and get a flying or surfing Pikachu. So I um, decided to put a Magikarp in here because, I mean, Magikarp's not going to learn anything, and getting a Gyarados would be really helpful. So I'm trying to get this thing up to level 20. You know, we're not going to miss out on any moves, so it's fine. And since everything in the Poka Walker, when we battle, and we're going to do that here in just a moment. Oh, God, I probably shouldn't be doing this looking at the screen because I know there is a delay. That's yeah, unfortunate, we got a regular Pikachu. But anyway, since all Pokemon in here just have 4 HP no matter what, and there's attack, evade, and catch, it doesn't matter even that I'm fighting Magikarp versus Pikachu. I should get slaughtered here, but that's not how the rules work. <laughs> so it's a Group C Pikachu, so it's it's not special at all. It doesn't even have the possibility of having anything special. Oh god, why did I just attack through that? Oh, that was stupid of me. You, you 10 watts lost. You do not want to get knocked out in this. I need to pay more attention. Dang it. Oh, that sucks! If it's going first like that, it's just our uh, opening one. But granted, I'd actually done this before uh, in here. This is not my first time um, trying to film for this. The previous time, I ended up with just three Pikachus that new Flail, which is pretty horrible because the other gr well, the group, one Group B Pikachu... Oh, that... Well, whatever. It For the best. It doesn't matter. At least we didn't lose any Watts. Nope! I almost messed that up. Good, it's still going. Now I know I can loop around the edge like that. That's nice to know. This is still um, a Group C, so it's not worth doing. We have to remember that and pay close attention to how many of those um, exclamation points we see because that's the only way to actually identify what the Pikachu was going to know. So the other Group B one, if you remember from before, will know Volt Tackle, and um, that's pretty darn good. Granted, getting three of those other Pikachus, that new Flail, ugh, this sucks. I might as well catch. Um, well, we're just gonna get rid of this anyway, but at least so that we don't lose... Um, see, he's gonna run now, so I would rather him run and we not lose 10 watts. Should have done that the other way around. I gotta get used to it. Dang it! Okay, so since this is so hard to get one from two, we're either really unlucky or we have the Volt Tackle one for our uh, second, which is gonna be really good. Um, I have been walking this thing all day. Getting to 10,000 steps is not easy. It's been taking a long time. Please don't evade. Oh, I critted. See, that can happen to a good one, too. It's this hard trying to find, like, a good Pikachu in here so we can raise the thing. And, oh, God, every single attempt of this is 10 watts of mine, which, as you saw, takes a long time to get. So I'm blowing through these for you. And this is just miserable. Uh, my friend Matt, uh, he actually did this back in the day. And I felt really bad for him because when he was trying to um, transfer his Pokemon up, of course, the Pikachu with um, Surf or Fly will not transfer because it knows an HM move, and the game thinks you're going to abandon yourself somewhere, even though nobody was actually, like, using this as their only Surfer or Flyer. Once again, that's fine, I just wanted to fail that encounter, because we want to get a 2 exclamation point or a 3. Okay, it's still going, good. Please keep going, please keep going. Dang it. Anyway, so now you got the gist of this, I'm basically just going to run through this as many Pikachus as I possibly can. Um, it really doesn't matter if we end up with any of them, um, if we don't find any that are twos or threes. And even if we find a two or three exclamation point, um, like I said, that a, a two exclamation point, oh perfect, could be either um, a group B or a group A. We obviously want group A, that's the biggest one, but group B could still get us a Volt Tackle Pikachu, which if everything fails, that's still nice, but... Uh, and at the very least, we have something down here to go home with because these Pikachus are all holding different berries, and that is a good thing. Uh, the, uh, oh, I, I don't know if I even got to say it earlier. The other Pikachus that I did catch with Flail all had Lepa berries. Another junk one, man. So, um, one thing I want to point out, um, the Flail Pikachu, if that is your Group B, is more common, much more common, than finding the Group B Volt Tackle Pikachu. So... Because this is actually really hard to get anywhere, I've got a feeling... Wow, this one is tenacious. What if I evade? 
Okay, yeah, he finally went for me, because if he chose to evade, we would get a stare down for the sake of showing you what it looks like, and he can flee. So, there you go. So, if he chose to flee during that, that can also happen. So, I guess it's a good opportunity to show you what the Poke Walker can actually do, please. Please, give me a third one. Dang it! <laughs> Alright, I ended up catching that one, so that was a close one, but at least we have another berry of whatever's being held in the first slot, but that was obviously a Group A Pikachu, so... Nothing special. The real shame of this is I'm losing a ton of watts that we could be using to unlock more roots, but I want to make sure that we get this Pikachu early on in our game because we're planning on raising this thing and I gotta get through uh, with some different types. This is another Group A. I'm sorry, God, no, not a Group A, it's a Group C. It's weird that they're counted backwards like that, but I guess it's kind of like, think of it like ranks. You know, we have A rank, B rank, and C rank. It makes a lot more sense uh, and uh, than it does just with Group A, Group A, Group C. Alright, so that's probably going to be another capture, so at least we filled up on Pikachus. We're going to have to remember as we start filling this which ones are the Group C ones and which ones are the B or Potential A. We're going to check at the end of this video just to see what we did find out here, and hopefully I will get a good um, Pikachu. I'm really hoping we get something special, but man, if that keeps happening. So um, if you don't know how this works uh, and you don't understand why I'm getting frustrated there, what we want to happen is uh, at, instead of a Pokemon encounter starting after we find something in the grass, we want to instead have the game want us to find another thing in the grass because the more times we have to keep looking, it's going to give us opportunities to find more stuff. Stare down so he chose evade. If I choose evade, quit choosing evade! There, he finally tries to attack. Um, I could actually just use this to run from him, or he can run from me. It doesn't matter. As long as we don't lose the watts like we did earlier, that was that was bad of me. But anyway, so on this screen, so that was one. We want another like this. We want another. No. So based on however many exclamation points you saw when you entered battle determines what class of the uh, Pikachu you're getting. So, that's basically it. I mean, this is a very straightforward app. Um, there's actually no sense in catching this thing, but at least we can get and move on, because I believe we've already gotten our third Pikachu, and um, Group C, or any of the groups, really, once they're determined and I'm out here, I'm only going to get that one Pikachu, so it's not like I'm going to be able to have a chance at the other ones. So this really is three identical Pikachus. They have different natures, and uh, maybe abilities? I think Pikachus all have static. But um, there's no way for me to know what natures they're at on this screen. I would have to transfer them. Please give me a two. Please give me a two. Darn it. I got a good feeling we're in a Volt Tackle at the very least. Um, so we might get away with a Volt Tackle this time. Because last time I really got screwed and walked away with three Flail Pikachus. Because I do want to walk back. Even if I get um, three of them that have two, um, I don't want to keep wasting our watts and trying to find one that gives me three instead um as long as i'm able to have the chance because you can encounter an a rank with just two of the exclamation points so and since it's a pikachu i can't you know they're all pikachus i can't tell <laughs> i have to transfer them back to the game every single time which means i lose the watts that um i would have been spending on finding more and i have to walk another day so let's just keep swapping in the middle it doesn't matter Man, we are losing all of these watts. Oh well, it was just one day. Oh my god. <laughs> I noticed a fast way to escape from battle is just to tap the right really quick. So if I just want to leave, I can immediately do that and we can blow through this a lot faster. Oh my god. <laughs> I would be a little bit faster. My reaction time is, um, is delayed as much as I'm watching my own screen. I can't get close to the actual game itself because that would require me to do like like this. I don't know what you can even see right now if I'm doing that. It's probably all blurry. Um, so, yeah, that's... It's just the nature of how these screens work. That one was tenacious. It really wanted to kill us. Um, I was evading the entire time, giving it a chance to flee, and <laughs> obviously it never hit us. It just tried to attack constantly. So, yeah, let's hang on to that guy. He's got some spunk. Oh, my God. Even if I found a Pikachu that was in Group A, we would have to keep looking and try and use the watts that we have left on trying to get a good item out of here because remember we want to get a thunderstone and a light ball um it could be either or honestly um i'm not really sure which one is going to be the best for this um honestly i kind of think the thunderstone might be better than a light ball pikachu but uh um, as of this recording i don't have that information that came back from you guys just yet from um your opinion on it 
From my understanding, um, if you give Pikachu the light ball, his attack and special attack will double, which it makes him slightly more powerful than Raichu. His attack and special attack go from like 90 uh, for, as Raichu to Pikachu's light ball 100. Eh? I mean, for the, the loss in defense, I don't know if it's worth it. Crap. Oh my god. We definitely have a Voltackle out here um, because I cannot get past this. And Voltackle is probably better on Pikachu too than uh, Flyer Surf, but um, oh god, I almost failed that. But still, um, I, I I just want the rare ones, you know. Man, keep getting hope that it's gonna keep going, and it, it never does. Oh, a two, a two. Keep going. Ah, oh, it's a two. It's a two. Okay, so this might be a Voltackle Pikachu. And it also might be the group A. We have no idea, so we have to catch this. All right, so here, now it's on. Um, I'm gonna say attack, just hoping that it... Please crit. This next one would be amazing if I crit. Yes! Oh, perfect! This never works in our favor like that. Okay, I I, I say that, but it actually did when we were trying to catch, uh, was that our Beldum? Oh my gosh, yes! Okay, so that is super helpful. Pikachu was caught. Excellent. So we're gonna switch this with the first one so that we know the first one's good and we'll, as we find more, we'll try and uh, level them up through there and keep taking up space. So um, how many watts did I have at the beginning of this? Like almost 500? Um, so jeez, I've spent a lot just trying to run through these on here. If that's a flail Pikachu, I'm gonna be so sad. Oh, come on. My hands are getting sweaty doing this, man. This thing is so tiny. <laughs> Seriously, this, this thing is so tiny, I'm trying to, like, play on this little... Ugh. Crap. Dang it. Oh my gosh, this is another one that's mean! He just wants to fight! Stare down, you're at 1 HP, just go, man. Ugh, oh, darn it. So I think we have, like, a 3 or a 2% chance of uh, one of these actually giving us the Surfing or Flying Pikachu based on whichever Group A we rolled. And uh, from memory, I think the Volt Tackle Pikachu is only about a 7% chance, which feels about right with what we've done so far. Ugh. Come on, man, <laughs> let me leave. <laughs> it's another one. You wanna, you wanna go down like that, you go down to a Magikarp without doing anything to him. There you go. Keep it going, keep it going, gah. You know, I'm not positive if you can get a group B with only one exclamation point. Um, I don't think so, but even if it is possible, we wanna leave only with the two exclamation point ones because that for sure has a possibility of being group A and that's what we really want out of this. Man, I'm gonna run through all my watts. Oh God. Ah, <laughs> oh, whatever. This thing's getting slippery. Shoot. Oh, darn it. And you know, I never mentioned it on here at any point, but um, since the stats are locked on these Pokemon, you cannot find shinies this way. They're all predetermined, so don't even go there. <laughs> I have thought if I actually ran into a shiny just normally throughout the series, um, I'm probably just going to catch it, break the rule for that, but I'm not going to use it. I'll probably just trade it away immediately just to say that I captured it. And I, and I assume anybody else playing the challenge would probably just do the same thing themselves. Because now we're talking 8192 shinies. This isn't like the common stuff that you deal with in the uh, newer games. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Darn it! Shoot. You know, I could theoretically catch, uh, like just hit the catch button immediately just to end the battle um, if I wanted to go out faster, but uh, I've found that mashing evade really helps because it gives them more chances to flee. However, like in, in this sense, is if I do hit, see if he, if he tries to attack me every time and I'm evading, then yeah, this is gonna take a while, but catching just takes a long time. <laughs> that, as you know, like there, see once you're out, you're out and it's immediate, but the Pokeball animation is so slow. Oh, jeez, here we go again. Yeah, <laughs> how many stare? Like we just stared at each other for a while, and then eventually he's like, "All right, I'm gonna go." Give me a two. Give me a two. Nope. I'll turn the volume up for you guys, by the way. So hopefully it's a little bit easier to hear the bippity boops going on here, as if. You know, that makes it more authentic. <laughs> I'm down to my final hundred. We only have ten more tries. That's sad. And it's assuming I don't mess up, too. Could even kill it on accident. You never know. Oh my god. <laughs> wow! 
Nine more tries. Okay. Give me a third. Shoot. Eight more tries. Which is probably for the best, because I can barely hold this thing anymore. Come on. Darn it! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so I'm very confident we have a Volt Tackle one, which is cool, but... That's not what I want to fight with, you know? <laughs> and even once we get one that can surf or fly, like, don't we, um, <laughs> want the other? <laughs> you know? Darn it! <laughs> at least my Magikarp's leveling up, you know, at the very least. As if that's a hard thing to do in the game. <laughs> Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Jeez Louise! Five more tries. I got a feeling we're just being really unlucky. I don't know if it's, oh my god, yeah, that was bad. Four more tries. Come on. Keep going, keep going. Oh my god! <laughs> Watch, this is gonna be like the very last one and we're gonna crit twice or something stupid. Three more tries. Oh, oh my god, this is terrible now. Really, another one of these? There. Two more tries. <sighs> Come on, please don't. Okay, okay, at least we went to the second freaking round. Alright, now give me three. Give me three. Give me. Th oh, no! <laughs> Oh no. Well, um, I guess all we have after this uh, is to just check what's our Pikachu know, because apparently we only got one <laughs> out of this. Unless this is a super lucky final encounter. Ooh. Give me one more. Keep going. At least one more. <laughs> Shoot. Nope. And that's it. I just blew through um, 500 watts and, and we got nothing here. So. That sucks. You know, while I'm here and we can at least afford it, I'm going to try and do the dousing machine. I have done it a few times and gotten some items out of here. Yeah, gross. You can see how much sweat's on this thing. So let's give it a try. I'm going to at least do this tactic. So if you choose one of these two middle ones and it's not there, which it probably won't be, it'll then tell you it's near or it's far. So if it's far, um, then you have one of three options. It's one of those far, one, that one over there on the left or these two on the right. Or um, it's one of these two and you got a 50-50 chance. So... I always guess wrong. So, yep, just proving that I always guess wrong. And that was it. That is all our watts. And awesome. So, we're gonna, um, at the very least, put this into the box so we can see what that knows. Welcome back, guys. This is my next update for our little Pikachu extravaganza trying to find uh, some cool stuff in the Yellow Forest. So, I had a revelation and a bit of a change of plans. So I, I did go back and I checked my Pikachus and um, the one we found uh, that we thought was a really special one was a Volt Tackle Pikachu. So that's just uh, one of the 7%. Um, so that's still really good. Um, but we obviously wanted to get the really rare ones, the Fly or the Surf. So um, I put the Pikachu back in. This was really late at night, so I wasn't really able to film when um, or when I was deciding to go back in and try it again the next day. And um, I spent the whole day, you know, walking and thinking, you know, why am I looking for a Fly and Surf Pikachu when we're gonna have, more than likely, Fly and Surf on our team elsewhere, because those are actually good HMs to attack with anyway, and we'll get stabbed with them for other Pokemon. Why am I not using the Volt Tackle Pikachu, which also comes with its egg move, Fake Out, which is awesome! So, that's already a really good Pikachu, and we should probably just be raising it. So, what I decided to do was to put it into the Pokewalker and start leveling up our Pikachu that I want to raise this way. Granted, I still had to go back in the Yellow Forest, and this episode isn't complete until I acquired a Thunderstone, which, for some reason, I've got a prop of. Um, kind of a long story. But anyway, we need a Thunderstone, and so I wanted to make sure that since this is our first opportunity that we're going back into the Pokewalker to try and get an item, um, I already did the, the hunts and everything for it. I spent like a couple hundred watts trying to get this, and I did get it on here. So what I'm gonna do to show you, because it didn't occur to me that um, there would be a problem with the way that I'm doing this for items on here um, until later after the fact. Like I said, when I spend my watts, it's at the very end of the day because that's before, you know, your steps are gonna reset. So it's the maximum steps. And I, I had to walk the max amount of steps in order to make it sure that I could get um, to the Thunderstone or the light bulb sooner. And there's a reason why I put Pikachu 
back into the Yellow Forest to walk because Pikachu um, inside the Yellow Forest was going to get more steps that way because when it has that tight bonus thing. So it's 25% faster. So instead of going to 10,000 steps, I only needed to go to 7,500, which helped out a lot. It was still a lot there, but still, because I did that, because we're not grinding for more Pikachus, we're able to store our Watts and try and get to that route for the Dratini earlier. Now, later in this series, I'm probably still gonna go back and try and get the flying and surfing Pikachus, but for now, I'm content with us raising and fighting with the Volt Tackle one we got because I was still really lucky and a lot of work in this episode. So just to switch over and show you really quickly and at least prove that I've got this guy in here. Um, I know my autofocus is absolutely terrible and we're going to have lots of light reflections on me, but there you can see Pikachu is in here. He's doing well. Uh, or she, rather. You can even see the gender differences are even shown in the Pokewalker, which is awesome. All right, so the items I was deciding to stick with that I found in here is the Big Root. The Thunderstone and a Miracle Seed. Now, I'm pretty sure we already had a Miracle Seed, and my other option was basically just more berries, um, because I never found a Light Ball. But at, this, at the same time, honestly, I think that this is just the best. I want to make sure that we keep um, what we have for the Pikachu. I've got 674 watts, you can see right there, so that is going to give us a lot of he headway for unlocking the Blue Lake, I think it is, with Jashini. So what I would like to do is transition over here and show you guys what it actually looks like when I connect the Poke Walker to the game itself. And yes, I, once again, I'm physically using uh, my capture card for this. So, um, and you actually have to, in order to use the Poke Walker, you physically have to use your um, console and your physical game cartridge because the Poke Walker is actually wirelessly connecting to the game cartridge. So what's weird is if you connect this to a 3DS, which is what I'm actually doing right now, I'm gonna go to the connect option, which is one that we skipped over before. I'm gonna actually have to point it at the game card, which you can see in the diagram here, they're showing it on a regular DS, which is in the back of the system. I actually have to do it to the front, which means this animation is backwards because it's showing the animation, you know, like it was almost like magic. I remember doing this in the DS era. Da, 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 um, where it will like come in from the back and like it's it's going back and forth really cool but it's totally lost its um splendor on the 3ds because it's all backwards um so yeah so after you're done um transferring them like that you get this little animation where it'll tell you okay so your pikachu set off for a stroll um looking lively um sticking right nearby you use the dousing machine got an asper berry got an asper berry got a raspberry got a raspberry got an asper berry got an asper berry got a miracle seed I uh, got an Asperberry, got a big root, got a Rouseberry, got an Asperberry, got a Rouseberry, got a Rouseberry, got an Asperberry, got an Asperberry, got a Rouseberry, got an Asperberry, got a Thunderstone! Yeah, I went through a lot of stuff. And remember, each time I try here, it was three watts just to attempt it. And um, I probably only succeeded and got an item one out of every, like, four. No, it's not that bad. Um, like, one out of every three. It, it was bad, though. Um, so yeah, Pikachu's perception is clear, very confident. Thank you, thank you, and that was all we needed. So Pikachu gave us um, some extra watts and stuff while we were walking, and um, I wanted to make sure before I put Pikachu in here, um, and I will show you the Pikachus in just a moment here. Well, Pikachu went up one level in the, uh, from the stroll. That's the main reason I wanted to put Pikachu in here, because um, collected watts have unlocked some of the Puck Walker, new rock, just found the Puck Walker, the Dim Cave. Uh, Pikachu, when we got the Voltackle one, started at level 12. And at level 13, it learns Quick Attack, which is actually going to be really helpful. So I wanted to make sure we didn't miss that. So it took a long time trying to grind this early in the game to try and get Pikachu up to level 12. Got him. I uh, got her there. And um, yeah, that's another thing. I don't get to nickname any of the Pokemon. Kind of a bummer. But um, got her there and um, then transfer into the Pokewalker because the next level was safe to miss anything. There was nothing there. And, um, you know, I could send somebody on a stroll just because we're sitting here. Might as well. And I might as well show you this half, too. So I'm going to select a Pokemon from the box. Let's actually pick this uh, Magikarp here. I'd been doing Magikarp because Magikarp, of course, is not going to learn anything through level up. And we basically just want to get Magikarp up to level 20 to turn into a Gyarados, which will be really helpful on our team with bounce. Uh, select the route you would like to stroll on. You know, um, at this rate, I'm not really sure. You know, honestly, right now we just need Watts and it doesn't really matter where we go. So I'm just gonna send Magikarp to the beautiful beach just because I'm gonna assume that you get a bonus for walking a water type Pokemon there. So it's similar to what we just saw before, it wants us to connect after selecting which of the routes that we have. I'm gonna go to the Pokewalker, go to um, connect, point it at the DS cartridge. Boom, and it's connecting in the wrong direction, but that's just the way that it works. 
and Magikarp is now in the Pokewalker. So, and that's all there is to it. It's it's really nifty how well they got this thing to work. Um, and I really wish that Pokemon would make more stuff like this. And even just in that little time, I guess it considered that we got two watts. I don't know how that works. Oh, even sometimes you can actually walk with nothing in your Pokewalker. And um, you can actually randomly get a Pokemon from Group C who will just join you on your walk. And you'll just get a free Pokemon that way. I was even considering making that the starter. Like I have to release the starter walk with nothing and transfer that in. But you can't release your starter unless you've got something else. It was kind of complicated, so I couldn't really do it. Anyway, regardless, I never really fought with the starter. It was all the same. So anyway, uh, we're all set here. So what we want to do is back out of this screen because we are finished. And now it's going to boot us back to the main menu again. We're going to open the game and take a look at our Pikachus. I do want to point out one thing. Uh, if you remember the events that we were looking at earlier, the um, Pokemon that we do have access to in here, we're also holding stuff. Notably, Ash's Pikachu, the event, is holding a light ball. So I want to like just extra prove to you guys I'm not using that light ball at all. That's cheating. Any of the event stuff, um, I only used the events so that we could get access to the other Pokewalker routes. The other events, um, like I showed before, have their own box over here. And just to prove it again, that Pikachu is holding its light ball and it will always hold that light ball. Call me out on it if you don't think it will. Um, Mew is not holding anything. Uh, Celebi is holding a Jacoba Berry, Lech Berry, Custep Berry, uh, Mickle Berry, Wop Berry, and uh, Life Orb. Oh, that's tempting, but nope, can't take it. So, um, these just are always gonna show that, regardless of where I am in the game. There's other events, by the way, I just didn't happen to get all of them. I just stopped when I got all the Pokewalker ones. Um, obviously, some of our other Pokemon are leveling up. You're gonna see more information about that in the next episode as we challenge our first gym, which will probably just be a joke, because we got a great Pikachu now. Uh, but anyway, let's get some full information on these guys. So, our first one, uh, Mild Nature, and I love they all say Pokewalker, it makes me feel so good about this. That's actually a really good one, but unfortunately it's a Flail Pikachu. Um, Heightened Special Attack is outstanding. Um, the next one is also a Flail Pikachu, that's, that's also a really good nature for it. Man, I really hope, I don't remember what our uh, Volt Tackle nature is, so I might, I guess that's our big reveal to see what our team member is going to be like. Another special attack buff on, uh, actually I think they all know static. Um, this is just a basic uh, Group C Pikachu, also buffing its special attack. Um, another Thundershock, low, uh, lowering speed, heightened physical attack, that's not so good. At least that wasn't our final Volt Tackle Pikachu, oh my god it is! Um, Oh no, our Volt Tackle is a physical attack. Um, uh, <laughs> well, uh, I mean, you know what? I mean, we're gonna turn it into a Raichu anyway, and it's not like we're gonna try and keep this as um, a Light Ball Pikachu, which would make it hit a little bit harder. Um, that is a shame, but the speed is very important because if we're gonna go first and we're gonna one hit KO things, the, the speed is the most important stat for us to have, and it's also very fast, so, um, a, a fast Pokemon, so I guess this is still good. Um, it's just so rare, obviously, as we saw in this episode, it's so rare to try and get these things that I don't... Ugh, trying to get another is gonna be an absolute pain. We got so many that were special attack buffs. This one was not so great, but that's outstanding. That's outstanding. That's outstanding. Oh my God, three of them are outstanding, and then like we get like a a bad, um, it's also kind of bad, and that's really what it was. Yeah, actually, no, it's just the two bad ones. <laughs> oh, well, we still have a Volt Tackle fake out Pikachu. Regardless of its hindering its attack, it's still a really strong attack stat. I'm just kind of bummed that it weakened it so much, but hey, we still have that sucker for our team, and I'm very excited to finally, like, put this team together because we really can't start progressing in this game until we've basically built the entire team structure of what we need for everything going forward. So that's a big thing, and the next one that we need is that Dratini in the Blue Lake, so... If it's the Blue Lake, if I remember correctly, it's the Blue Lake, but regardless, that is all the time we have for this episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next episode of the Pokewalker Challenge. Boop!